Hello, everyone, and welcome to Radical Readers Book Club with me, Miss Hannah. And today I'm going to be reading the first little sample of this book. It's called Zoe and Sassafras, Caterflies and Ice. And this story is by Asia Citro, and pictures are by Marion Lindsay. And here is the cover of the book. And this book, it's um, it has magical creatures in it, kind of like fairy tale creatures in it. And Zoe, the little girl here, she has a special power that she can see these magical creatures. So we're going to find out a little bit about this story. And this book is uh, the fourth book in the series, if you can see that. Um, so if you like this story, you can read all of the other ones too. And I just love them. They're really good. Um, yeah, here is the, you can kind of see some of the other books in the series there. And then also the table of contents. So this has 14 chapters and it also has a glossary. So do you know what a glossary is? A glossary will tell you definitions of certain words. So for example, example, there's a word called camouflage. Hmm. So that the definition for that is when the natural coloring of an animal blends in to its surroundings, which makes it hard for predators to find them. Do you ever look outside and you see an animal and it's wait, well, well you don't see an animal at first because they're hiding, but then when they jump out of the, on through the grass, then you see them? Well that's because they were at first they were camouflaging with their, their background. Like chameleons, chameleons, they can change their, their uh, skin color to blend in with their background. It's really cool. So let's go ahead and get started with this book. This book has a prologue. So the prologue is kind of like a little introduction to the book, um, something to get us set up to read it. So here we go, prologue. These days, my cat, Sassafras, and I are always desperately hoping we'll hear our barn doorbell. I know most people are excited to hear their doorbell ring. It might mean a present or a package delivery or a friend showing up to play. But our doorbell is even more exciting than that because it's a magic doorbell. When it rings, it means there's an, a magical animal waiting outside our barn. A magical animal who needs our help. My mom's been helping them basically her whole life, and now I get to help too. Okay, so that kind of sets it up. up. Isn't that cool? Could you imagine having a magical doorbell? that allows magical animals to ring it and then you can go help them kind of like a magical veterinarian <laughs> okay so now chapter one it's called spring snow a shower of powdery crystals glittered in the air and fell on my face Brrr, i grinned snow is awesome and this snow was especially awesome because it was a surprise spring snow. I thought it would be almost a year before I saw snow again as I bent down to grab another armful of the powdery white fluff blanket blanketing the lawn. I heard a thump behind me. Thump. I turned to see a little orange face smooched against the window. Mm, <gasps> Poor sassafras. He hates water. And because snow melts into water when his warm kitty paws touches it, yeah, he pretty much hates snow as much as I love it. Mm, thump. I trudged over and put my hand against the window pane. Inside, sassafras raised his paw to the same spot. Hmm. Wait a minute, Sassafras. Let me find my thinking goggles. There's got to be a way for you to play outside and not get wet. 
I ran off to our barn and peeked inside. There they were, next to some of my mom's old science journals. I grabbed my thinking goggles and pausing for a moment to run my hand over a photo in one of the journals. My mom's note said, the creature in the photo was a feep, feep, which is very fun to say. And I could feel it soft as silk fur through the photo. I smiled. The photos of magical animals always amazed me. Mom gave me my own camera and I'm allowed to take one photo of each magical creature I help. I like to add them to my science journal with my notes. Because every photo saves a bit of magic with it, it's a great way to remember the sweet magical friends I've made. I popped the thinking goggles on my head, made sure they were close to my brain to give me awesome ideas quickly, and ran back to my poor sad cat in the window. Okay, well that was end of chapter one, and then chapter two is called Snowshoes. Hmm, I wonder what invention she's gonna come up with that will allow Sassafras, her cat, to be able to come out in the snow and not get wet from the snow. So, I wonder, what do you, do you have a few ideas? Yeah, well, in this book, she meets a lot of magical creatures too, and um, you can kind of flip through, through and see the the pictures, but the title it says Catterflies. I wonder what a caterfly is. Yeah. Okay, well, if you want to go ahead and find out what happens in this adventure, you can go ahead and check out the book on Libby or even on Hoopla, or you can give us a call. And we have this book in our collection. We'll go ahead and put it on hold for you, and then you can pick it up at Curbside Pickup. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. I really enjoyed reading with all of you. And we'll see you next month for another Radical Readers. Bye-bye.